Well, it was the moment that broke the nation's heart yesterday. Mark Killian and his wife, Anneli, in an emotional embrace after their interview with us. The Queensland Government preventing the quarantining couple from entering the estate to say goodbye to Mark's dying dad. Mark and Anneli, who are fully vaccinated, join us now from their hotel in Sydney for an update. Nice to talk to you both this morning. Mark, you've got some important news to share. Um... We have been um, given the exemption by Queensland to travel on into Queensland today. So um, all those logistical plans are being put into action for us to get onto that uh, private charter and get ourselves to the Gold Coast Airport. Oh, guys, that is so... I can't even imagine how <laughs> emotional that phone call must have been to say you can get in. How did your dad react to the news? That was actually the emotional phone call, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah I think he, he was just so sweet. I think he, he was very emotional. Um, and, you know, the, the second thing he said after this is great news, he said, I hope this can help someone else. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, wow. Um, I mean, we're just so excited that this is able to happen for you guys. So what happens, what happens now? You've got the exemption. I believe you can leave at midday today. How will that work exactly? It's a bit of a logistical process. So we were tested last night. New South Wales sent over people to test us, especially. It's an exit test, I guess they call it. So we're expecting those results at 9 or 10 a.m. Once the results come in and they're negative, um, hopefully, we will um, be then put in, in hazmat. We have to wear hazmat suits, full full PPE gear. We'll be processed out of here. We'll be taken by New South Wales, are going to transport us in, in some kind of special transport, we're not sure, to the airport, um, which is a private airport around here somewhere. And then the plane, which is also fully COVID compliant, will then take us around midday-ish um, to the Gold Coast airport. Um, and once we arrive there, we're not entirely sure how that logistical process is going to look. OK, because I think that that will be the concern from some people, that, that you're only halfway through your quarantine. And yes, you're fully vaccinated. You've so far tested negative to COVID. I guess people want to make sure that there's going to be no risk to the community. And has that been assured? Well, we want to make sure as well. That's mm. the last thing we want. Um, but we do have, at this point, we have four negative tests since we've been here. And so today's test coming back will be the fifth. And as I say, with, with PPE gear and all the protocols that are being followed by the transport company, the, the private charter company, um, it's almost difficult to imagine that we can do more. We're doing everything we can. Yeah, look, I'll tell you what, talking to you yesterday, you, you, you seemed broken. The pair of you seemed broken. Did it surprise you then when things did event start moving fast yesterday and to get this call that you can get in there and see your dad? I, it did. I, I think we're still a little bit in shock. Um, yeah, I, we were just absolutely thrilled. It, it's an interesting, I was saying to Mark, it's so interesting to be so happy to be so sad, mm. um, you know. But um, but we are very grateful. Um, you know, we, we just really didn't have the words, but we were so happy. Oh. can hear it in your voice, Adele. It's, it's It's a lot, isn't it? It's been a lot. It really has. Mm. We know that every minute counts for your dad. Just tell me, how special is that first hug going to be? Yeah, it'll be it'll be something I think we'll 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 all remember um, for the rest of our lives. Um, for, that'll be probably one of the finest, most rewarding moments of our lives. I think. It's still going to be pretty tough, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, it's we're not going. We're not going on a, on a holiday or a cruise. We're going for something um, that's going to be very sad. But but at least there's a dignity to to the way we can mm. do it now. Mm. And do you hope then that you, you know, you've had to go through this? You've had to really put your story out there, and I know that's been very difficult. That it will make it easier for for people moving forward, for compassion to be showed, so that we we can say goodbye to our loved ones. I think we've just, yeah, I think we've um, been absolutely inspired by the, the amount of compassion. And um, I think to see compassion um, win over, you know, everything else is just means the world to us and, and um, just gives us a lot of faith in, in, in 
how compassion and how compassion and kindness can change things. Mm. Well, I tell you what, it's going to be a moment when you see your dad. Keep us posted and good luck with it. We'll be thinking of you the whole time. You take care, guys. Thank you, so Thank you very much. Thank you very Thank much. You. A beautiful couple, aren't they? So heavy, that long, painful journey to that goodbye. We wish them all the very best.